ladies and gentlemen, empires fall during solar minimums and plagues show up. But fear not, because we are starting to see signs that the sun is waking back up again. And so we are slowly exiting this solar minimum. And yes, I know a great debate is happening between me and I guess everybody else in the truth community where everybody believes we are going into a grand solar minimum. And I believe nobody knows what the sun's going to do next, man. And so I just want to say that a nobody knows what drives the sunspots and the solar processes. And so until you know that information, you're not going to be able to figure out what the sun's going to do next. And then B the past does not dictate the future when it comes to the sun. And so just because the sun has had a pattern or had patterns over a 200 or 300 year span in its billion year life, that does not dictate what is going to happen next. And C, it's 2020, bro. And then D, the thing that nobody really seems to be talking about is the Beetlejuice sun baby. This is Beetlejuice, the right shoulder of the Orion star complex constellation in our sky. And earlier in 2019 and then into 2020, it started to deform like it was having a sun baby or something. And so not only do we have us our own home star, we have a star field and all of the stars are interconnected. So things are just weird. And I find it's better to ask questions than to give definitive answers on things as magical and mysterious as our own sun. With that being said, the wonderful super industrial engineer Irene Quirez is saying, wow, Lasco C2 images show two coronal mass ejections north and south side. What is going on in the sun? I do not know, but we are paying attention. I have predicted that we will see major signs that the sun is transitioning to solar maximum in July. And then hopefully from that point, the world will start to get better. And if somehow we do get our first X class major flare, I think there's a small chance we could see the plague go away. Oh, that's more comic book hoping with my heart. But Halo CME, two slow coronal mass ejections, neither are earth directed at the wonderful down the scove coronal mass ejection one from a helical and concave structure over the west limb how far can it be seen by suvi coronal mass ejection two a nice flux rope coming from region 20 to 30 degrees behind the east limb per stereo so yeah the action is picking up bro and that is exciting because even Thor news seems to get more energetic and fun during solar maximum periods and coronal mass ejection three question mark asterisk dr tam the scove what about the stealthy dimming region near central disc high in the northern hemisphere best seen in sdo ai 211a on june 12th the wispy eruption during that time period is nearly Coincident with the eruption 20 to 30 degrees behind the east limb. And so we have CME zero, which technically would be CME three. Math, I'm no good at it. Hello, CME. You're absolutely right, Dr. Tamitha Scove, about the stealthy eruption, which seems to be Earth directed. Beware of possible effects. On the 16th or 17th of June. I call it CME Zero, which was too narrow to be observed by Lasco and not related to CME One or CME Two. I'm gonna call it CME Three because it makes more sense. But yeah, the sun is waking up and that is exciting. And it's waking up on the top and the bottom. It's like Mitch all together. That was a Mitch Hedberg joke. And when the sun acts weird, Earth weather acts weird. And then people kind of lose their minds, dude.
And so expect that to kind of happen and escalate. Also, we have a total solar annular eclipse coming on the 21st of June. And so we are just full on, full tilt into excitement for the next week. So I would stay tuned and check out these magnetic filaments dancing. Once you get the filaments really dancing, you know it's about to get live. And so 2020 is only going to get more interesting. But we could be getting more light, asterisk, in our lives. And that sounds like a good thing to me. And you light up my life. You make me whole. And hopefully you're going to make me funnier. I would love to be funnier. Because life goes in peaks and valleys. And so, as I like to believe, nobody knows what's going to happen next, dude. Although, make predictions. It's always fun. And it can humble you often. And so, I would stay tuned. And I'm not looking for any tropical storms or hurricanes until about the 21st. And then it may take five days after that. But, I definitely think things are going to start to get more interesting into July. And then August. And then September. As the African part of the Atlantic hurricane season wakes up. So please, everybody stay cool. Have a great weekend. And I love you, Asteroid Fight Club. You guys are so good to me. Peace out. God bless everyone.